Lolo Behind Lolo Did It Hand Dyed Yarn Business. We're located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, you can find me on Instagram as at underscore Lolo Did It and on my website at www.lolodidit.com. <clears throat> and pretty much everywhere else at Lolo did it. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, I had quite a few new subscribers last week, so I just wanted to say hi. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, thank you for checking out my, my small business and our podcast. And um, yeah, I couldn't be more grateful for all of you. So thank you guys so much. We have a lot to go over. There's Valentine's Day is happening and uh, we have a new collaboration. So that's the very first thing that I'm going to talk about. So <clears throat> I said last week that I had had the opportunity to meet Stephanie Lutvin, who is at Telly Bean Knits. She is the coolest, most bright, energetic person <laughs> that I have ever met. She's so, so sweet. I'm so lucky that I got to meet her actually in person um, because we had planned this collaboration uh, sometime around last fall, be beginning of the winter time. And the, it's finally out. Um, she made the cutest mittens. If you can see that. These are adorable. Oh my goodness. I am so happy how they turned out. So she, she got to me and she's like, Lauren, I've got to do mittens. And I have this idea. I was like, yes, do it. And so her little fishy mittens... They're so cute. And she says that she made two different designs so that you don't get second mitten syndrome. So that that was so much fun. So she used two different um, little Lolo packs to make her samples that she knit. And the, the photos are both on my Instagram, on my website, and on her Instagram as well as um, in this pattern. But I, I'm actually going to show you the last page too because it, it literally cracked me up. Look at this. She put the fish mitten in a skillet. I can't get over it. Anyways, so we have lots of kits available. The pattern has been super, super popular. All of you guys seem to be loving it. It's a great opportunity. Um, all of us, like, on Instagram have been talking about how we're, we have been rushing to make Christmas gifts. And so what I thought, now if my sister is watching, you just turn off your ears or just forget about it. But what I was thinking is I'm going to knit the toddler size for my nephew and I'm going to put them in a little box and so next time, next Christmas, I can give it to him and I have it all ready. So that's like my thought process for this one. So I'm really excited to knit those for him. Um, but these are really cute. I'm going to show you the kits. The first kit, which is most of the examples that, um, all of the samples that I've been showing you on this, is this one. So cute. The second one, I'll put a picture of the sample that she knit up with the second kit. It's this one. So cute and colorful. I love this one. She made the main color, the, the lucky, the green color. But you really can do anything and make it look so cute. And then the third kit, I came up with this because I knew it was coming out in wintertime and I knew that not everyone has as bright of a color palette as Stephanie. She's crazy. Um, but so I thought that if you wanted to knit some for yourself, like mommy, mommy, baby pairs or something, and you want it to be a little bit more toned down, I put together this kit. I just thought these are really, really cute winter colors. And while it would still look like a fishy, it's a little bit more adultified, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so really cute um, so I put this together I did not get a sample knit out of this uh, this pack but I figured you guys can use your imaginations from all of the things that she has so really cute I'm so happy you guys love this pattern I'm so thrilled that you guys are loving this kit so far um, I've had so many cute comments on all of your orders and a lot of emails coming back and forth like, oh my gosh, I love this. So really, really fun. And I'm really thankful to Stephanie for, for bringing our little Lolos to life. These are all on our original base, which is a base that's exclusively available. We get it produced just for us. Um, and it's nice and thick, and, but it's hard wearing. It's a nice, it's a sock base. So it's a really nice hard wearing one. So if you have little ones who are hard on their mittens, this is perfect for them. So um, I wanted to share that. Thank you guys. 
The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is we have a lot of Valentine's Day colorways. And what I have decided to do this year, um, last year, I kind of kept things around for a long time. So this year we're just dyeing one batch of these colorways and then they're done. So I'll kind of go through these. I have all of them here and I wanted to show you they actually make a really pretty fade. If you guys were looking for a fade. But I'll go from these from my left to right, which I think is your right to left. I'm not positive, but yeah. So the first one is Time After Time. Gorgeous. This is on my solo base. The second one is Hunka Hunka Burn in Love, which is a really pale pink with mauve and red speckles. So pretty. And this, it, we've, we've dyed this, I said on the last podcast, three years in a row, but I think it's actually more, been more like five years in a row. Um, but you guys love that one. This is Sweet Nothings. This is a brand new colorway that just came out this year. This is also only one batch. So once it's gone, it's gone. And you guys have been loving that one. This one was new last year. This is My Man. And this is inspired by have you guys if you guys ever saw funny girl i love that movie i actually listened to the inside entire soundtrack this week um this is the last song that barbara streisand sings in that movie and it makes me cry every time so this is my man and then the last one is faithfully and this is by journey um, well, it's inspired by the Journey song, Faithfully. So all of these are one batch only. We dyed one batch of it. We dyed quite a lot, just so that you know that there's not there's not a huge frenzy. The Sweet Nothings has been up, uh, and Hunk Hunk of Burn and Love has been up for approximately a week and a half now, and it's not sold out. So I just wanted to let you know. It's not causing a frenzy. I just wanted to let you know once it's gone, it's gone. Um, so if there's a specific base that you were looking for, you definitely wanted this. Just make sure to grab it um, soon. So, super cute. I love all of these colorways. I am so happy with how this palette turned out. Super cute. Love it. So, thank you guys for all the love for this. I, I've gotten a lot of people um, who have been getting these, like, kind of as two skein, three skein, or even four skein fades. So, I wanted to show you that all five of these do actually go together. Um, and I cannot wait to see your projects because they are going to be beautiful. So something else that is on the shop right now, <clears throat> I just put it on the shop today. This is a one of a kind. We named this Passion. There are, I don't know, maybe like 16 skeins of this. Not, not very many. Um, but I am, I decided that I'm going to publish this podcast, tell you guys about Passion, that it is a one of a kind. There's not very much. Um, and then I will not announce it on Instagram until after people get a chance to see the podcast. So this is an exclusive podcast in, uh, information download. So passion, so pretty. When this came out of the pots, I'm like, oh my gosh, why is this a one of a kind? <laughs> but I cannot repeat it. I, I tried it. It it didn't work. So it is a brighter red than red, red wine. And it has red, red wine is like red on top of red on top of red on top of burgundy. And this is more like red with like purples and navies. So if it's not showing up on here, let me see if I can get it to focus. There you go. I don't know if it's the right colors. I, I it probably is not picking up all those different hues, but it is beautiful absolutely gorgeous i love it the other thing that i wanted to show you is i also have a couple of other colorways that are really really great for valentine's day that i are not valentine's day colorways they're um sweet tooth which is usually a summertime colorway that i it, it it is in it is in retirement i probably won't bring it back this summer but probably next summer so this is sweet tooth this is a really really cute valentine's e-color way 
And then this one, I dyed this when Aretha Franklin passed. That was just, that was really hard. I couldn't even believe it. She's such a, she's a legend. So as soon as she passed, um, this colorway came out. And this is called Respect. But it does work really, really well for Valentine's Day. And I thought I would show you guys this again because it's so pretty. And I did see somebody knit this up. If you go to hashtag Lolo did it and scroll a little ways, because this came out, you know, when she passed, um, there is a beautiful shawl knit out of it. I did ask her if I could repost it, but because I never got a response, I just didn't repost it. But it is there. It's under hashtag Lolo did it. So you should check it out. It's really, really beautiful. Um, the last thing that for Valentine's Day is, of course, Hippo for Valentine's Day. Look at that. This is so cool. You know, I usually do like Valentine's Day colors like, oh, pretty, and they're so pinky and cute. And this one is like, dude, it's Valentine's Day. I love it with the black in it. Um, all of, so our plan for this year is all of the Hippos for Holidays are going to be brand new colorways. So 100% of the Hippos for Holidays of 2019 are not going to repeated, be repeated from the previous years. So this is the second year we've done Hippo, or this is, this is actually, this is the third year that we have done Hippos for Holidays. Hippo for Christmas we've done for forever and ever and ever since I started dying. But hippos for holidays just started in 2017 so we did 2017 2018 and now 2019 this year so we do have a hippos for holidays knit along and i actually combined it so you don't have to knit a hippo for every single month like you did last year i actually included yeti goes to series as well so it's kind of a combination we're having a knit along all year long if you cannot participate for the entire year definitely participate when you knit something out of a hippo or yeti colorway put it on there and put the hashtag because i am choosing winners for each month all of the details are on my website if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there is a link that says knit alongs and it is the first one because it's the first one we're doing for 2019. so just just to inform you guys on all of the hippos so that that's going to be really fun so if you do have a 2017 or 2018 hippo just know that it's not being repeated this year so it's kind of a special special thing so super cute hippo for valentine's day we do have matching project bags of course and these have black hearts to kind of go with the theme so so cute i love this and then we do have the little lolo packs as well so anytime you see uh, a new hippo come out we have little Lolo packs that match. So all of the tonal colors that will match that to make a, a project, you can do that. And I was actually thinking yesterday when we did the Fishkins mittens, when we came out with this, you know, it released yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, if somebody does these mittens in the Valentine's Day pack, I'm going to freak out. So if one of you guys do that, please share a photo with me because I think it would look so cool. I was thinking if I did it, I would do like the Folsom as the background and then all the pinks as the little triangles. But so, so cute. So we have six packs of little Lolos available all the time. You can also, for this, for this um, pattern release, until February 15th, we are doing a coupon code. The coupon is fishy. And so if you put... If you want to make your own kit, you can put six single skeins of little Lolos in your cart and you can use the coupon code FISHY and it will bring it down to the same price as the kit is. So that's a good thing too. Um, but that just made me think, if we have the little Lolo packs, dude, somebody do that. Somebody make it. <laughs> um, she's also, speaking of knit along, she's also having a month long mitten knit along. She has a lot of color work mitten patterns. So she is having a month long mitten knit along. So go join that because that's a great way. She, I know she has some cool prizes. I've donated a couple of prizes for her giveaways um, for this pattern release. So that would be so much fun. I cannot wait to see your guys' mittens. It'll be amazing. So even if for any of her other mitten patterns, we have so many um, 
Little Lolo packs, if you go to my kits and set section, there's a Little Lolo's packs, and they're all five or six skein packs that you can get. And then, of course, again, you can also you put six individual Little Lolo's and use the coupon code to bring it down to the right price. So, yeah, I'm really excited about all that. Speaking of promotions, now until Super Bowl, I have been having a playoff promotion. So Super Bowl is, I think it's February 4th. So the Monday after Super Bowl is when the promotion ends. This is um, buy one sports colorway. Get the second 25% off. So all of my sports colorways have a really good deal right now. So if you are one of those people who likes knitting for all of your family, this is a good way to get some cool sports colorways available. We do have all of the NFL colors there so if you want to search for your team go to the search in the top left hand corner and type in your team's name for the nfl i have been slowly putting in like colors cross over for different sports so i have been slowly putting in other teams that also use those color combinations from the mlb nhl you know um, it, it for everything. If you guys have told me, hey, this works for my team, I've been putting those in so they are searchable. But if you can't find your team in the top left and you are looking for a different sport other than the NFL, go to main collections and click on sports, then click on your favorite yarn base and you'll see all of the different colors there. We have tons in stock, almost nothing. I don't think any sport team color is sold out at this point. Um, I know the Bears is getting close to being sold out and the Packers, ironically, the Bears my team and Packers are our tribal. Those ones are pretty close to being sold out, but the rest of them have a lot of yarn available. So this one is Fly Eagles Fly. This, you know, was pretty popular last year and this year it's starting to be popular. Um, somebody said on Instagram, oh my gosh, when the Bears lost and our kicker hit the the um, uprights and we heard that sound of doom, somebody was like, oh, I had everybody wear our Fly Eagles Fly socks from your colorway. And I was like, did you make socks for the kicker? Because <laughs> then, you know, we lost. But this is a beautiful, it's probably one of my favorites and because it was the eagles colorway last year i was like oh my gosh so you guys there's tons of colorways up there just go ahead and get what you're looking for um this has been really really fun i've loved our game day cal speaking of which i keep on doing that speaking of which all this entire time um we have a game day cal it's lo hashtag lolo game day cal 2018 and it's going through Super Bowl. So the Monday after Super Bowl, that's it. So post all of your photos. If you're using a sports colorway, post it because I will be picking a whole bunch of winners from that hashtag. The probably maybe not the Monday after, but that week after I'll be picking winners and then announcing them here on the podcast. So make sure if you're using any of these, post it on Instagram and use the hashtag. We have a new color coming out. I have been using this for my January Gainsey knit along that Olive Knits has been hosting. Um, it is a, a fully cabled sweater. I'll, I'll put a picture in here, but I've been using my colorway prints. And for this, we actually came out with a new yarn base called Guernsey Sport. And this is the yarn base. It's kind of blowing out kind of a lot. There we go. I think that's more of the color. So this is our Guernsey Sport Base, and this is Prince. These are actually some of my skeins from my sweater. Um, but these are, this base is gorgeous. So this is a brand new base that came out in December. It's an 85% merino, 25% silk, and a sport weight. It is gorgeous. I have been, all, all last summer, I have been trying like yarn tasting different sport weights and finally I got this one. There was a specific hat that I wanted to um, knit out of sport weight and I was like, if I'm, if I'm looking for sport weight, so is everybody else. So um, we finally have a sport weight. This is a non-superwash yarn. So just make sure to let you know this is non-superwash. Um, which means make sure to hand wash these. But 
It is gorgeous to work with. The cables and the stitch definition detail from this is beautiful. Like I said, I'll put in pictures if I didn't already. Pictures are coming. So this is the colorway. This, I mean, this is the yarn base. Um, if it will focus, here we go. The yarn base is beautiful, and that's new. You can order this on my website. I, we have a whole bunch of tonal colors on uh, available and ready to ship on it. So if you click on Shop by Yarn Base and click on Guernsey Sport, you will see a whole bunch of colors that are already ready to ship. But if you don't see the colorway that you're looking for, you can always order it Dye to Order, and there is a listing for Dye to Order there too. So this is beautiful. And this colorway is actually coming out tomorrow which is going to be <clears throat> it's going to be before i po post this podcast there's going to be this video will probably publish on friday it's wednesday right now probably published by friday but i'm going to put it up on the shop either today as soon as we get it tagged and photographed or if we don't get it finished today we'll, i'll put it up tomorrow which is thursday so this is now available i've been teasing you guys with this colorway for over a month now because as soon as so we dyed this just as a test we dyed it and it came out so beautifully that I was like oh my gosh I need this for my January Gainsey sweater so I dyed one pot of it <laughs> for my sweater and then have been showing you pictures and teasing you this entire time so once we got back from vacation we made sure to dye it for you guys <laughs> but I put this up on um, Instagram and I said hey guys I need a name for this and almost every person, I mean over 50% of the people who responded both on Instagram and Facebook made a Prince reference and I was like I cannot pick like one Prince name but it is really purple and really amazing so I just named it Prince because that encompasses them all. So it's a really gorgeous, bright but dark purple it's amazing you guys know not any photos that i have taken of it do this colorway justice and probably the closest that i've gotten to the true colors uh if you look on instagram is the the photo that it's all balled up and then there's also two photos of it in my sweater and those probably are the closest to the truest color that i can get but it's really really hard to capture all of the hues of this one so but it's really pretty. It is definitely my favorite right now, my favorite colorway. So I hope you guys like it too. And I think I've gotten to the end. I mentioned the passion, the one of a kind. I'm looking through my list. Yep, that's it. I do have, so I, on my last podcast, I had so many winners from all of these knit-alongs that I had going on last year that I owed you like, five months worth of knitters. So I put half of them on last week and I'm going to put the rest of it because I knew, I mean, I am behind. I got so many emails from all the winners from the hippo for holidays, the end of that, all of these things. I am so behind on emails. It's embarrassing. I've been trying to like scroll through and make sure that I'm capturing, like if you're asking a question about your order or um, shipping and stuff like that, I'm trying to make sure that, but anybody who has emailed me about a giveaway I'm like I'm so behind I'm hoping by this afternoon I'm gonna catch up but then it's gonna happen again I'm gonna post this on Friday and then all of the winners are gonna be emailing me so if you are a winner that's um, from this week that I'm posting at the end make sure to send me an email you don't have to pick anything just shoot me an email and tell me that you're you are the winner and you're claiming your prize um, and what I forgot to say last week is also make sure that you have an account on my website. Most of you guys do because you guys are winning because you bought yarn and knit it. But if you do not have an account on my website and you're one of the winners, just create an account real quick and I'll be able to send you your prize. So that's really exciting. My email address is contact at lolodidit.com and I will start the video um in in a minute and get you guys going so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you joining me and i'm so glad you guys are as enthusiastic as me of all of my crazy colors um so i hope you have a wonderful weekend and i'll talk to you next week bye